20 minute game keep cutting the edge off the screen I need to sort that out I like pushing through the middle rather than the bishop thing we alternate and what's, what sort of behaviour is this opponent demonstrating let's see if we can get into the personalisation the character of the person that helps us to oh we've gone for clever wizardry so this person is like a clever wizard so what do you do with a wizard style We've already dealt with the aggressive style, which is basically um, basically doing aggressive defending. And with the wizard, what do we need to do? We need to try and take away their spells, you know, reveal their tactics, reveal their tricks. They don't want people to see their tricks because they feel they're being clever. So I need to reverse what he's thinking. Right, let's go with it. So let's reveal the tactic let's say well okay you've moved your knight you're going to lose tempo what what else have you got up your sleeve queen with a check loses a bit of tempo So the magician could do two. Well, he's actually gone up there. What did we say he was doing? Yeah, I want to reveal their tactic. Great revelations. Let's. Opportunity, opportunity. Don't want to waste time attacking this knight now. What else can he do? He's going to have the queen here. Bishop coming out, attacking. Knight up. Bishop, queen, queen, queen. Pawn drops. Queen. I like the look of the queen being here, but waste of a tempo, knight just comes down. Am I kingside castling? I think I am. Simple is as simple does. Reveal the tactic. Attacking the pawn here. Show, show them the tactic that they're going for. Show them, reveal it. Oh, we win the 20 points, so we can't go and castle. No point, no point, dude, no point. He's just gonna bring the knight out. As tasty as it looks. He's just gonna drop the pawn. Cart castle. Can't attack this. Reveal himself to himself. Let's capture here. It's got the pawn here, but reveal the stickiness of what he's going to about to do now. It's got issues because eventually, if we get this, oh, I mean, he can defend because his knight can come in front here. This king can't go in castle, so we're going to try and take advantage of that. But I believe the knight's not going to take. Hey, <laughs> right, okay. And he's left his knight here. Oh, propose the take back. Unfortunately, no. And they've resigned. Okay, so that's another one of revealing the magician's tricks. Yeah, and the opponent was 
didn't want to trade the knight at the beginning so to me that's a little bit of cleverness you know thinking well I'm going to find a better position with this it's not aggressive they lose tempo as far as I can see so in order for me to deal with something like that I need to sort of show them that I understand what it is that they're trying to do um, so their magic trick um, showing them that I know what they're trying to do makes them lose tempo big style in the practical sense because the knight had to jump all over the place you know so it's moved once and it's having to move again without developing any of the other pieces which tends to then generate more times out of ten it generates a, an aggressive response which is like an overreach so the opponent overreaches so we develop our bishop keeping it simple supporting the pawn so that we can go on kingside castle because we do know that this this pawn looks a bit flaky now and it's starting to look even flakier revealing you know this overextending here with no basis it's got no support really knight stuck on this side here so with that overextension comes a weakness on the other side so they've punched with their left but their right side is left open they've not left a guard there for it so obviously there's nothing else that really can protect the pawn unless the queen came down and defended i don't think the knight could have defended could it no 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 or oh, he could have just let the pawn go yeah there, there are those options as well so attacking the bishop and then attacking and then they've gone for greedy munching on the pawn we weren't too bothered about that because we were focused now on potentially putting pressure on this area here because of his lack of development we may have got to that point to be able to put pressure around there because his king couldn't castle anymore so he'd have to end up virtually castling which loses more tempo as well but fortunately we didn't have to do that we took our time and realized that eek, the knight i thought the knight was potentially going to take the bishop which probably would have been okay for them you know because we were focused on this area up here but they left it there and we took the opportunity to grab it interesting game the magician's trick is to show them the trick show them that you know the trick